Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Facebook Live. This is Ketamine Clinics of Los Angeles, Dr. Stephen Mandel. Uh, welcome to our Friday afternoon, three o'clock approximately broadcast. Uh, we're back, uh, up and running. We had a really quite remarkable time. This is a nice high rise, excellent medical building in a very prestigious area, high rent and everything is fine and works well. But we have a sprinkler system. It's part of the amenities of a high-class building. And the sprinkler system has an expansion tank on the, just under the roof so that um, even if the water fails, there's enough water in the system to do a fair amount of sprinkling. And that, has, that's, that tank under the eaves has a valve to relieve excess pressure in it. And a bird moved in under the eaves and built a nest in that valve. So that valve stuck. <laughs> and when the expansion happened, the tank ruptured. And the first, the top four or five floors of this building flooded. And because it's concrete plates, it actually ponded on the floors. It was really quite remarkable. We came in on Monday morning, had not gotten a call, had no inkling. We came in like 40 minutes before our first patient, and it was just chaotic. It was really remarkable. I mean, I'm smiling because it was just unbelievable. The ceiling tiles were all wet and down. Uh, the floors were coming up. The walls were sweating, and the paper and the the paint, the skin of the paint, the wall, the water had gotten between the drywall and the paint and bubbled it out. It was just it's chaotic. And we called everyone and said, hey, you don't have to come in. We're having a problem. But if you want to come in, we'll take care of you. And I have just the most amazing team. You know, I read my Yelp reviews just like you read my Yelp reviews. And I see Mary mentioned, and I see Kikila mentioned, and I see Angel mentioned, and I'm so grateful that people think that good things about them. But you know, it doesn't really hit me until this happens. What a team we have. What an amazing team. They really put everything together, were comforting and reassuring to patients. Everyone who wanted to come in, one person rescheduled, but the other bunch of people uh, came in and were glad they did. It all worked, it worked great. Um, the building's been really marvelous about putting it all back together and they're doing a pretty good job. But it really was remarkable what chaos and how how much we were able to do even in the midst of it uh, partly because of our attitude and partly because of the real commitment of, of, of our team so uh, the flood is over the walls are not yet repainted the floors are not yet reinstalled but we have ceiling tiles and the walls which had to be cut open to dry out the spaces in the wall have now been put back together, so we're kind of on our way. I wanted to talk about what happens after ketamine. We have a whole aftercare program, and we're going to try to do a little segment on each aspect. We have a five-aspect aftercare program involving sleep, nutrition, exercise, a peer-to-peer -peer warm interpersonal relationship, and talking therapy taking it from the top, the talking therapy. People think talking therapy is sitting on a couch or in a chair and talking to a therapist. And certainly it can be that. But when we advocate for talking therapy, we're not advocating for a particular talking therapy. We're not advocating for a, a Freudian or Freudian light talking therapy. We're advocating for interpersonal relationship with a therapist. It may be CBT, it may be DBT, it may even be EMDR, although that's not quite talking therapy. But there are a variety of therapies that take the benefit that you've gotten from ketamine and enable you to use it, to develop it, to extend it. Talking therapy can be extremely important in facilitating your doing that. We also, I neglected to mention on our team, 
Alyssa and Sam, they do amazing things too. Uh, they were uh, a big part of recovering from this flood. Sorry about that, guys. Um, back to talking therapy. We advocated, and although we're not doing any scientific research here, we are keeping good records. And we find patients who have an involvement in talking therapy have a better benefit for a longer period. When you think talking therapy, think also not just of a, of a therapist, think of a group. Think of a affinity or fellowship group. Think even of coaching. There's a whole profession out there called life coaching. They're not exactly therapists, but they can be extremely therapeutic, particularly to those who are just getting their focus and their energy and the determination to live fully back, but don't quite know how to make the choices necessary to put something in place so that they can get on with having as full and rich a life as possible. So, talking therapy is really important in sustaining the benefits of cavity. Yeah, and I know that a lot of people think about just sitting on a couch talking with a therapist or psychologist as, as talk therapy, and as you're mentioning, there's really a lot of different ways that it can uh, occur. There's a lot of different modalities and um, talk therapy is an umbrella for a really you know large variety of things. Uh, I know for myself personally, I've uh, done you know group therapy before and individual therapy in the past, and there's definitely a lot of different advantages to uh, the different types, and you know especially group therapy and being around other people who might be going through similar things as you can be really helpful. So I definitely encourage patients to participate in some uh, form of talk therapy. And I think a lot of people who may not have found value in one approach should continue you know, to look at others. That's an excellent point. If you've tried talking therapy and it isn't getting you where you want to go, it may not be the talking therapy. It may be the particular kind of talking therapy or even the therapist mm -hmm. that's making a difference. So if you had psychodynamic therapy with a therapist you didn't have rapport with. That could be a whole different story than going and joining a group with a facilitator who you have good chemistry with. Yeah, and also the mindset that people are in when they're you know, having treatment with us when they complete treatment is so different from often what one they've ever had before, um, and definitely from you know, what they may have had at the time they did the therapy. Yes, I know. I had a, a patient a couple of weeks ago tell me, she had had therapy years ago. It was terrible for her, she thought. She stopped it. Uh, a lot of uh, trials and tribulations later, she came to ketamine. She was really relieved, uh, not just of her suicidal ideation, but of her passivity, her low energy, her inability to concentrate. And I urged her to give an talking therapy another chance. She went to talking therapy and she called me and she said, gee, you know, they've really changed it a lot. <laughs> talking <laughs> therapy is really good now. Yeah. Uh, she brought a whole different patient into the room. So she had a totally different experience. As you occur in the world, so shall the world occur for you. Now, that can be overdone, but don't minimize the effect of your being a different person has on how experiences land for you after this ex after this infusion treatment. Did you want to ask any other questions? I think that's it. I know that you have patience still, and um, no, I, I thought that was a very very uh, interesting uh, quote. I was just thinking about that for a minute, and I like it a lot. And it's uh, it's true, and. Um, I, I definitely, you know, like I said, I've had personal experience with it. I, I definitely support our patients. I know everyone here supports all of our patients, and especially you, Dr. Mandel, in pursuing that and that, you know, just that ketamine is not the end-all, be-all, but really in a, a lot of cases the beginning for people. Yes. Thank you all for joining us at Ketamine Clinics of Los Angeles for this Friday afternoon chat. 
We'll be with you again next Friday, Pacific Daylight Time, 3 p.m. And uh, until then, uh, let us know what you think on Facebook or by email. We look forward to hearing from you. Have a great weekend and a great week. Bye, everyone. Thanks, Dr. Mandel. Thank you.